Hey YouTubers, <clears throat> it's liking the covers 4963. How y'all doing? Back for another comic book collection video. Uh, just the last one I did was my Amazing Spider-Man. I've been doing the 70s and 80s bronze, copper, any um, uh, silver ones I have. I, I've done my Fantastic Four, X-Men, and Amazing Spider-Man. Now I'm going to start on my um, my list of comics that I have in my collection and just go from the notebook. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, the first ones I have is my small collection of Avengers. I have one as Avengers Classic, West Coast Avengers, and Avengers West Coast. So to go off with the first one I have here, Avengers number 185 from July 1979, cover done by George Perez and Terry Austin. A uh, nice reading copy I got. This one here, I think I got out of the, um, for a dollar or two, might have been out of the dollar or two dollar bin box. But yeah, um, this is the part one of two of the origin of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. And yeah. Um, pretty intense uh, cover there by Mr. Perez. Um, I know questions have been asked about who your favorite. It's hard for me to pick just one favorite, but there is quite a few since I've been going through my collection of people that I really, really like. And one of them is Mr. Perez. He is good. Mr. Um, Mr. Ramita is good. Him and Him and his son. And then John um, Bernie. Um, then there's just several others that don't come to mind right off. But uh, but yeah, um, there is favorites with that S. Here's another good artist. Cover artwork by Frank Miller uh, of the Batman Dark Knight uh, fame. Um, I have 203 of Amazing Spider-Man, which is he did the cover art for that. And then this one here, 193, is the cover art from Frank Miller and Bob Mc... Mc uh, it's M-C-L-E-O-D Lead Mc McLean. Mc McLean. I'm sorry, I don't mean to butcher up your name. But um, he, along with uh, Frank Miller, did this cover, March 1980. Jump to 210. This one here is by the legendary icon artist Gene Colan, doing the cover on this one from 1981, August. And this here is <clears throat> uh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I like the way they got the purple and with the reds. And with the, the Wrath of the Weathermen. I like that over there with the Vision and Scarlet Witch. They're in Kansas. It's a twister. It's a twister. This one I like here. I got it for $3.99 a um, couple of, couple of uh, years back. I was doing Yard Seller online. And there was people that was interested in Avengers. And um, I... Got this right around the time that Yard Seller was um, folding. So I just went ahead and kept these. But this one here is a good story. Um, this is um, Bob Hall doing the uh, cover art. This is in December of 81. This story here is of the Ghost Rider having a rough time of it. Um, he is, I mean, he is really, I mean, this has also got to do with they're having um, kind of downhearted about one of their own, Hank, um, who was Yellow Jacket with the Avengers, was is having his problems with uh, he and the Wasp. But um, the Ghost Rider is going on a rampage. He goes against his former teammate from the Champions, Angel. Um, and, and, I, and I just really, um, you know, I, I liked it. I read the story before I made this video today. So I uh, just cut it out and reread it, and it, it was just a it, just a good story. I like that cover too. 
215, another good cover. This one here is Alan Weiss. Weiss doing this, and I've never heard uh, of this particular one, of this particular artist. But uh, this is from January of uh, 1982. This is the Molecule Man against um, the Silver Surfer and Tigra and the rest of the Avengers. I think this is Tigra leaves the Avengers out of this one. Either this one or the next one. <clears throat> um, issue 263, the Avengers. This is the What Lurks Within the Cocoon. The first uh, story, first part of the story of Jean Grey's return to the Marvel Universe back then. Um, the Avengers found the cocoon, and then uh, part two is the Fantastic Four. And then uh, uh, it starts number one of X-Factor, and her return to the original X-Men. And a big jump. I had 300 to 303, but I sold those. Well, that's a yard seller. This one here is Tom Palmer doing the art with John Busham. And, well, that's 263, I'm sorry. Tom Palmer doing 304, um, along with Kieran Dwyer doing the um, art cover art. And this is the Avengers versus the UFOs with the uh, special appearance by the pouncing Puma. Puma. 305, John Burney cover. From July 1989, 306, Tom Palmer and Paul Ryan doing the cover on that one, and on 307 <clears throat> and 308. Next one in this in my uh, collection, Avengers Classic, the only one I have of this one. This is a reprint of Avengers number 11. Stan Lee and Heck, uh, they have their reprint story, but I don't know who does this cover art uh, for this particular cover, but it's from 08, it's issue number 11. Now the West Coast Avengers, Tigra versus Craven, and this is uh, Al Mungram doing the cover work from December of 85. Then number 42 of the West Coast Avengers. This is John Burney doing the first part of the Vision Quest. One of our androids is missing. Part 2 <clears throat> is John Burney. Part 3, that there is a <laughs> nice cover. That's, the, that's a yellow cover, which is pretty intense. And then this one here, I li I've, I've liked this one a lot. Um, I had no, this was one I, I put back in a box and just, it's been there with my other Avengers books for the last few years now. Um, so yeah, this one here is a good one um, that um, John Bernie uh, did, number 45. And then number 50 is another one that he did, The Return of the Original Human Torch, returning to the book. And that's when it changes over to Avengers West Coast. And then number 51, I like that cover. Iron Man returning to the Avengers West Coast. John Burney doing the cover. And issue number 60, Paul Ryan doing this uh, cover work. And that being a grand issue of I like Paul Ryan's, um, oh, sorry for the glare, but yeah, I mean, he, he does such a nice, nice job um, of doing Magneto. That's a nice Paul Ryan Magneto cover. That's the Magneto I, I know. <laughs> and that's from July of 1990. Now, the only other one I have left in this, wow is this book that I, I still say I saved this book because I found this in the dollar bin of my comic book, uh, my local comic book store I go to now. It's called The Rockin' Rooster on the west side of town here. And I found this in, in a box and it was just like, <laughs> the cover drew me right away. I mean, I seen this cover 
with Magneto here. And this is um, John Romita Sr., Joe Sunnett, doing the, doing the artwork of um, and I, <clears throat> Romita Sr. doing Magneto. I mean, that's just, that's real nice. I mean, he, he does it also um, in the Fantastic Four, 103 and 102, 103 and 104, I believe. But I know I know he does it in the 102. I like that cover. But this one here, yes, this is a story uh, that is a crossover between Daredevil, Black Widow, and I also think that Black Panther's in this. Uh, the X-Men are in this. Uh, Magneto has gotten uh, the X-Men captured for for briefly, and some of the Avengers, and in come Daredevil and the Black Widow to, to help out the Avengers. And in this is just this, this a minor key to this because the Black Widow joins the Avengers, and then in the next issue she unjoins, but then she comes back um, after she's done with uh, being in Daredevil's book and the Champions. So this is my Avengers books I have for right now. I plan to uh, do an upgrade of this particular one, of the 111, and get 110 sometime. And I wouldn't mind getting number 99 of Daredevil. If you find those, that's a good uh, crossover story. Uh, if you, <laughs> it is. It, it's, I would recommend it. So that's going to be it for now for this uh, comic book collection. And I will be back this week. I will be doing my pull list and any books I get from uh, my comic book store. Um, I also will be doing more. Uh, I think the next one I'm going to be doing is Captain America and Daredevil coming up. So, again, I, I, I appreciate the comic book community and all the YouTubers that have viewed my uh, videos and subscribed. I am now up to, uh, as I checked, I think I'm up to 18 subscribers, and I appreciate that. Uh, there has been a couple more that I have subscribed to. I don't have their names offhand, but I will give a shout out um, in later videos. So, guys, again, thank you for this community, and I hope and pray we we get you know we get blessed as we go through this because I found out about this thing about Marvel. I'm on the fence about it. I I'm just going to go and just. Um, wait and, and, and wait and see what they got to, to you know, what they're going to come up with. So, um, and, and stick with what's going on with DC. I've, I've decided I'm going to try to make it a, a long term goal to get the um, Deathstroke um, books. Uh, I have number five, and it's a 60 run book. So, I'm thinking about trying to aim for that. So, until next time, guys. Uh, Thank you again for watching, and if you have any comments or anything, just leave them in the comments section and subscribe. I thank you guys, and have a good one.